Hi everyone, this is Laura and I'd like to share another DT project for Diamond Eyes with you guys. But before I get to my project, I just wanted to remind you guys real quick, I will have all the links in the description box below for the store, the YouTube channel, and the Facebook page. Um, as you know, Diamond Dice is having a monthly giveaway on their YouTube channel for anyone who creates anything you like as long as you use a Diamond Dice, which is really, really cool, guys, because if you already purchased the dice, and you're already creating with them, why not win a little something for your troubles? The only rule is you cannot use a project you have already created. It must be a new project um, every month. And there is no limit to as many entries as you want. So I want to wish all my subbies out there who participate good luck. And I sure hope that you join and participate in that giveaway. So, I'm going to move my sign, and I wanted to share with you some more Easter cards that I decided to work on. Um, I wanted to make some Easter cards. My daughter wanted to make a card for a teacher of hers in school. She asked me, would I please make her a card, because apparently this teacher is her favorite teacher, and she treats my daughter very well, and of course I said yes. Um, and she wanted an Easter card and it was the funniest thing I realized I don't have any Easter stamps guys um, and <coughs> I don't know why that is um, apparently when it came up to sentiments for Easter totally slipped my mind I thought I had something by Amy R something in my stash and apparently I do not now, in my defense, um, I have not been making cards for a very long time. I actually just started. So a lot of those sentiment stamps, um, it just slipped my mind. I have to, um, of course, eventually purchase some of them. But in any case, this was the stamp that I decided to use. Um, I only had this one image of what looked to me like it could be an Easter stamp with um, a little bunny. That was another thing besides sentiments. I didn't really have, I mean, I have lots of pretty baby girls and pretty big girls with beautiful little dresses that, of course, could be considered like an Easter dress. But I didn't have anything with bunnies and chicks. I don't know what the heck I was thinking. I have no Easter stamps. And I certainly don't have anything that says Happy Easter on it. So I decided to try to make it happen with this image here. And I love her. And I haven't played with her yet. So that was a plus, 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 plus. I also used this paper stack that has been in my stash for some time. Again, another thing I didn't realize. But I do not have um, Easter papers either. But I do have very spring looking papers. And by Easter papers, I meant anything that had like bunnies or um, Easter eggs or stuff like that. So I was happy to break into this pad and use it. Um, for my project, I used my Diamond Dyes Grass Dye, which is my favorite grass dye ever. Um, I use my fancy flowers die um, and again this is one of the miniature flower sets perfect for card makers perfect perfect um, I can't say enough wonderful things about it I also used um, and I'm gonna share two cards with you only because I really need to get this loaded up today because she wants to give the card to her teacher tomorrow um, I used the Fancy Flourish Dye, um, another one of my favorites. I use the Mini Must Have Sets. And the Mini Must Haves, I don't have the leaf one here, it's in my magnetic bin. Um, only because it's just a leaf, I didn't think you would want to see the leaves. But they are adorable. Um, this is part of the Mini Must Haves. I use my Butterfly 
my little chicky and um, I'm not sure if I used this one on these cards I used it on a previous um, some previous Easter cards that I made for diamond dice but I definitely used this one so those were my dies my diamond dies that I used for my project and I want to hurry up before I've only tried to make this video like five times now and the computer keeps crashing so I want to hurry up um, so yeah so I use these are six by six I used a it looks orange but it's not it's a coral pink um, color cardstock by American Crafts and I layered several layers of the papers from the designer pack I used my scallop border punch I have some ribbon here some lace here I have some flat back pearls that was part of our DT package that D sent us. Um, here I cut out the image and again the camera's not really picking it up but I chalked a blue sky in there. I used um, some chalk. And then these are the mini must have butterflies. And I cut that out in different colors, distressed them, stickled them. Then I added these tiny little pearls to the image as well. I colored in my image using my pearl markers. I also used some stickles, some liquid pearls in the flowers. Um, here I have an organza ribbon bow that I made and to the center I added a little flower that I made with the mini must-haves uh, mini rose set from the mini must-have sets and I also made these flowers here with that set as well. Here for the fishtail banner, I used my teeny tiny fishtail banner die also um, from Diamond Dies. I just traced off the corner because I could never ever cut these things out straight. So what I did was I took my die, I used a pencil, traced it out, cut it out, and then I just extended it on my um, trimmer to cut like a big one. And like I said, I didn't have any Easter stamps but I did have these two little sentiments which I decided to um, just stamp there and for the inside of my card I used my stickers and I wrote out Happy Easter and here I used one of the Diamond Dice flourishes over here as well and then I made lots of these little pretty little flowers and I added some pearls. I have some designer paper here, designer paper here, and then one of these little crosses. And this was given to me by my friend M, who's Imoran here on YouTube. And this is another piece of green organza ribbon that I decided to put on the bottom. So that's the one card here. Um, one. This is the first Easter card. And then for my second Easter card, I used the same image, only a little different with this one. I rounded off the corners, again using those designer papers. I have here one of my spellbinders cutouts. Here I have some um, chalking that I did. I colored her in with my pearl markers, again using liquid pearls and the flowers, stickles. Um, I chalked up the sky colored everything else with my pro markers as well. Here I use my grass border die from Diamond Dies. Here I have the little flowers that I made with the mini must-have sets and I just love 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 how the flowers came out. I have some lace here, a scallop border edge here and then this here I had to stamp out using this little stamp set that I bought in the 99 cents bin at AC Moore and I just spelled out the word Happy Easter and it took me forever to get that right guys you don't even want to know um, because those little stamps the, the lines on the edge keep coming out it, it was just oh, I need a Happy Easter stamp um, and then I have some rhinestones on the corners um, again one of those little stickers for the center and then on this one on the inside some designer paper lace Again, the mini must-have butterflies. I stamped out sending blessings your way. And then I had these stickers left over um, from previous years. 
So guys, those are my two cards that I made for Diamond Dice using the mini must-haves and the flourish and the grass border. So I hope you guys like them. Leave a comment in the description box if you wish. And please remember to go on over to the Diamond Dice YouTube channel, Facebook page, and website. Check out those amazing dies, guys. You won't regret it, especially you card makers. I love them. Have a blessed day now, everyone, and I will talk to you soon. Bye for now.